SpaceX made history on Monday when it landed an intact Falcon 9 rocket vertically back on Earth shortly after its launch. The bold maneuver was a test landing performed during a mission to bring a fleet of commercial communication satellites into orbit for the U.S. firm Orbcom. About nine and a half minutes after liftoff at Cape Canaveral, SpaceX successfully guided the first stage of the 14-story booster back to land at Cape Canaveral. This achievement is a milestone in SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's long-standing quest to develop fully and rapidly reusable rockets. Mr. Musk has said in the past that reusing rockets would cut the cost of launching rockets to just one hundredth of what it is today. The company has tried and failed to land rockets back on Earth a number of times before, including two near misses earlier this year. Both times the rockets hit their target but ultimately crashed. In June, a Falcon 9 rocket disintegrated just after liftoff during a cargo run to the International Space Station. Monday's landing was performed in a new, more powerful version of the Falcon 9 booster featuring various design enhancements. While previous attempts to land the rocket have been on a floating barge, this time SpaceX successfully dropped the 230-foot blaster on land. The maneuver comes about a month after Amazon's billionaire CEO Jeff Bezos and his company Blue Origin successfully landed the new Shepard rocket at a launch facility in West Texas after a suborbital trip to the edge of space. The Falcon 9 rocket is, however, thinner and taller than the new Shepard, making SpaceX's landing a harder feat to accomplish.